people will steal your own identity <laughs> just to say they're the chosen one. That's crazy. People will really steal your identity just to say they're the chosen one. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. What's up, YouTube? How we doing, y'all? I need everybody to subscribe to my channel. I need everybody to comment 1111 11 below because I'm going in like the Ying Yang Twins, baby. What's going on with everybody? Let me tell y'all something. When you're chosen, notice that you've been chosen from birth, right? If you're not chosen since birth, you're not the chosen one. I'm just going to keep it real with you. That's something that you have to know since birth. Since I was in diapers, I knew I was the chosen one. That's straight facts. A lot of people will tell me, even when I was a little kid, boy, you're destined for greatness. Wow, that's the chosen one. Everybody always wanted to do stuff for me and take me places and stuff like that. Trust me, that ain't nothing but God favor that's all over my whole life. And people will really try to steal your own identity just to say they're the chosen one. What they do that at? Come on now. I understand what I'm coming from. This been in me since I was a kid. Come on now, I ain't gotta copy nobody, I ain't gotta mimic nobody, but guess what? I see people copying and mimicking me, but it's all good, because let me let you know something. There's only one Jordan the Chosen One, baby. <laughs> let me let you know something. There's only one Jordan the Chosen One. Understand what I'm saying? That's why God made everybody different. God made everybody in his own likeness and image. Come on now. It'd be weird if everybody looked alike. Come on now, it'd be weird if everybody really dressed alike and had the, you know, same hairstyle and stuff like that but guess what you'll be surprised i got people getting the same haircuts at me i got people dressing like me i got people trying to talk like me i got people trying to dance and shout like me but let me let you know something there's only one jordan the chosen one it's a lot of jordans out there you know what i'm saying it's a lot of jordans a lot of people named jordan but there's only one jordan the chosen one and it's funny because while they trying to mimic you and steal your identity guess what you too busy trying to be the next best version of yourself. You on a whole nother level. <laughs> Becoming the next best version of yourself. You were better than who you were the day before. And they still trying to be the person you are the first day you realize you were the chosen one. They still trying to figure it out. While, while you trying to figure it out, Decepticons, guess what? God already worked it out. Understand what I'm saying? While you trying to be the chosen one, guess what? I am the chosen one. There's a difference, guys. So don't be fooled by these people, right? That's calling themselves chosen. That irks my spirit. Do not be fooled by these people that's calling themselves chosen. You can tell immediately you're not chosen. It doesn't have to do with looks. It doesn't have to do with height. I mean, that's some of that stuff is a part of it because I'm gonna keep it real. Chosen ones are, are the most attractive people on earth. Whether it's how they look, whether it's how, you know, how their spirit is, Come on now, but don't be fooled on these on these so-called chosen ones on YouTube, y'all. I'm going to just keep it straight real with, real with y'all. They're not chosen. Come on now. These want to be chosen ones, oh, they big mad. Oh, they really big mad right now because guess what? They're trying to be like you, the chosen one. Come on now. Have you ever went, some, went somewhere and you see somebody really trying to dress like you? They got the same haircut. Ladies, they got the, these women got the same hairstyle as you. Wearing the same exact shoes. Come on now. Trying to be the chosen one. But guess what? The minute these people start opening their mouth, the minute these people start to speak, guess what? That's when you realize they're not chosen. Come on now. They spirit don't even they, they don't they spirit don't even feel right. Come on now. They can try to pretend all they want, but guess what? They spiritual man says a totally different thing. They spiritual man is saying Decepticon, Decepticon, Decepticon. Come on now. In order to be chosen by God, you have to be the light of the world. Something about your energy has to be totally different from other people's energy. Your vibration always got to be at a high vibration. Come on now. People will really try to steal your identity. That's why you have to be very careful. Don't lose your ID. Because if you lose your ID, God forbid, they will pick up your ID, knowing who it is. They won't even return it to the address. They will keep your ID. And every time they go to the liquor store, they will show them your ID. That's crazy. Every time they go to a liquor store to get carded, they will show them your ID because guess what? They trying to steal your identity so bad, they will even steal your own identification card. What they do that at? Come on now. Now let me let y'all know something. God is doing some wonderful things in my life. 
I'm not going to let somebody that's trying to mimic me or somebody that's trying to copy me or somebody that's trying to be like me take me off of what God has for me. I see y'all watching. I see y'all sharing my videos, Decepticons. I see y'all with all of these negative comments, but I'm going to let you know something. This been in me since birth. Understand what I'm saying? I've just been quiet too long. I've been real quiet. I've been listening to a lot of preachers. I've been watching a lot of motivational speakers, but guess what? I've been sitting back and watching and just waiting for God to tell me to move. Understand where I'm coming from. Yes, I have people that I look up to. Yes, I admire some people. Yes, some people inspire me. Some people motivate me. I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm never going to be the chosen one or be that motivational speaker to say, didn't nobody inspire me? Didn't nobody really motivated me? That's a lie. A lot of people have really inspired me and motivated me to become the best version of Jordan, the chosen one. Come on, understand what I'm saying? We all started from somewhere. People on here make it seem like they've been chosen from, from jump and nobody really helped them to get where they at now. That is a lie. You got to watch out for them people that they think they built every empire on them on by themselves. They build their own empire. They, they is a lie. Come on now. Think about Michael Jordan. Understand what I'm saying? Think about Michael Jordan. Did Jordan, did Michael Jordan try to go sue Kobe Bryant because he knew Kobe Bryant wanted to be like him? No. What Jordan did, Jordan passed the baton to Kobe Bryant and said, hey man, I love your game. I see what you're doing. Keep on doing it. So guess what I'm doing? I'm gonna pass on the baton to the next chosen one. You know why? Because guess what? I'm not gonna hold the baton for much longer. We're here for a good time, y'all, but we're not here for a long time. You have to understand what's going on, guys, in the spiritual realm. These people are so prideful. These people are so full of themselves, right? They will really try to steal your own identity just to call themselves the chosen one. That's crazy. That's really crazy to me, guys. But let me let y'all know something. If God is for you, can nobody mimic you? If God is for you, can nobody copy you? If God is for you, can nobody even steal your identity? Because guess what? God created you in his own likeness and image. And when God created you, he knew exactly what he created you for, for his purpose, for his glory, for his vision. God is the one that gives us these visions. God is the one that gives us these uh, YouTube channels and give us the title to go, go and give to people and give us the right words to say. Understand what I'm saying? And let me say another thing. It don't matter if you have, if you are the chosen one and somebody else is the chosen one and you guys are talking about the same exact thing. Let me tell you guys something. What one chosen one says is totally different from the other chosen ones. You guys have to be very careful of who they call themselves chosen ones. All you got to do is listen to them, listen to them speak. I see a lot of speakers on here. Oh yeah, they, they good. They can talk a good game. Understand what I'm saying? They can talk a good game, but guess what? They're not chosen. They're not chosen. I'm telling you, many are called, but a very few are chosen. We have to be careful. We have to be prayerful because guess what? People are here really trying to make it seem like they're chosen, knowing they're not really chosen, man. And just know that if God is for you, can nobody be against you. No weapon formed against you guys will prosper in the name of Jesus. No weapon that is formed against you guys will prosper. Keep your own identity, chosen ones. Don't try to be like nobody else. Keep your own identity. Keep doing what God is doing in your life because guess what? These people will really try to trick you, try to bamboozle you, try to steal your identity because guess what? They want to be called the chosen one so bad. I'll see right through these people, man. Trust me. I'll see right through these people, man. And I'm about to tell you the real right now. Don't let nobody tell you you're not chosen. If you know for a fact that you are chosen, you ain't got to listen to nobody. You ain't got to hear them, hear their speech because guess what? When somebody tell you not chosen or somebody always trying to downplay your success or they always trying to downplay who you are, guess what? That makes you realize that you are really chosen because these people are really out here trying to downplay your success like you ain't really above and above and beyond these people's calling. If God did it for you, he would do it for the next person. But guess what? If you have envy in your heart, if you have jealousy in your heart, if you're trying to steal other people's identity, guess what? It's not going to work. So just know this one thing, guys, and I'm going to leave it like this. God is getting ready to do some things in the chosen one's life. And there's going to be people out there going to try to copy your every move. They're going to steal your ideas. But let me let you know something. God got a vision. God got a plan for the WTC family because we the chosen one, baby. And guess, excuse me, and guess what? Ain't no devil in hell 
gonna stop what God is doing for the chosen ones. Understand what I'm saying? And just know this one thing, and I need everybody to subscribe to my channel, please. I need everybody, you know, to like this video, comment 1111 below for new beginnings because we're about to pass 11 minutes and 11 seconds. I need everybody to share this video because guess what? They will copy and steal your ideas just to say they chosen. These people are not chosen. You guys have to be very careful. You have to be very, very, very careful because these people, guess what? They're Decepticons in disguise, man. They Decepticons in disguise. And I'm going to keep it real with you guys. You guys are following a lot of people here on YouTube. I'm not hating by a long shot, but I'm going to keep it real with you. These people may have love for God, but guess what? I'm going to tell you what separates me from these other so-called chosen ones. The anointing. Come on now. The anointing destroys every single yoke. Did nobody know nothing about the anointing until I said it right in my videos? That's crazy. Did nobody know anything about the anointing? Come on, let's keep it real, y'all. Did nobody know nothing about the anointing over their lives until somebody see me talking about it in my video? But guess what? The anointing is already inside of me. The anointing is written all over me. So you can go ahead and say anointing all you want. But guess what? You're not anointed. <laughs> that person know who I'm talking about. You're not even anointed. I'm anointed and appointed by God. You know why? Because I can feel it in my spirit. I can feel it all over me. I've been anointed and appointed all my life. It's just sometimes, in my, you know, some sequence in my life, I didn't fully know because I was in the world. I was living those worldly things, doing those worldly things, living a worldly life. Didn't even know I was chosen. Knew I was chosen, but really didn't know. But guess what? God had to break me down, man. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. God had to really break me down. Amen. So what I'm trying to tell you guys is this. Many are called, but a very few are chosen. You have to be careful with these so-called chosen ones, guys, because they're not chosen. Look at a person's video and you can tell the anointing is over their life. You can automatically tell they got the anointing because it is the anointing that destroys every single yoke. These people are not chosen. They don't even have the anointing. That's when you know you have been chosen, when the anointing and God's favor is over your life. Come on now. Just because somebody said they're anointing, they're not anointed. Come on now. Just because some, some people are portrayed like they're anointed, they're not anointed. Understand where I'm coming from. And just know that if you need a friend, you got it in me, baby. If you need, a, if you need prayer, you got a prayer warrior in me. If you need motivation, if you need inspiration, you know you got the best motivational speaker in me. Because guess what, baby? We the chosen ones. Whether these people like it or not, whether these haters agrees or disagrees, we are the chosen ones. And I just want to say one more thing. If you guys would love to be a blessing to my cash app, my cash app is God will provide three zero. That's if you guys would love to be a blessing to my cash app, God will provide three zero. Amen. And trust me, God will do a new thing in your life. I'm telling you, God will do a new thing in your life. All you have to do is trust in him. Trust in him. Trust me what I'm telling you. My PayPal is God will provide three zero. It's the same thing as my cash app. If you guys would love to be a blessing, if God really put on your heart to be a blessing, be a blessing. Let's eliminate the stressing and God will provide for you. And it's G-O-D-W-I-L-L-P-R-O-V-I-D-E three zero. God will provide three zero because I know God will make a way out of no ways. So whatever God put on your heart to give, be a blessing. And I love you each and every one of you guys. Shout out to my new subbies, man. Y'all see y'all coming up in here, man, like beans on rice. And shout out to my original subscribers. I love you guys as well. We're going to meet. Understand what I'm saying? I'm also about to be having one-on-one -on -one sessions. So please comment your email below or just shoot me an email at Jordan underscore Howard, the number one eight at yahoo.com. Once again, Jordan underscore Howard, the number one eight at yahoo.com. I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. Be blessed.